I'm here to learn how to be a more effective uh, facilitator around um, building relationships across difference. So I'm part of the 86% of elementary educators. I'm white, I'm female, and I'm under the age of 65. And that's why I'm here, um, because I, I shouldn't be a majority. And the only way I'm not going to be a majority that we're going to have teachers of color, that we're going to have male educators and male presence in elementary buildings is for those students that I see in my classroom who are not like me to see what is what we have in common and to believe that they can do it too. The ability to open myself up to different cultures, expose my culture to them and their culture to me gives me the opportunity to communicate better. WEA through a grant from NEA is setting out to help close the opportunity gap here in the state of Washington and they have created with the help of the University of Washington a six-hour training around cultural competency um, and culturally responsive teaching. The reason why we developed this program was to fill a need that our members had. So we're looking at building social relationships, how are you building relationships with your students as a whole class, individual students. I relied on a partnership with the University of Washington, which we had with the Future Native Teacher Initiative, um, and they actually had a curriculum. The second dimension is focused on communication. What does communicating in culture responsive ways look like? Being one of the few or one of the only gives me a different perspective sometimes with my, with, with my students and I think that I can connect with them on a, on a different level and I'm hoping that bringing in some of these strategies will, will help us make that connection. We're learning about uh, the different cultures, how they interact, how they don't interact, <laughs> what brings us together, what separates us, the importance of not just inclusion, but the importance of acceptance and understanding. It's been really um, empowering for me individually in going back to my local. It's not something that um, I've gotten a lot of within my own institution. For me as a mentor, it gives me some strategies, some places to start with them. It helps give me it helps me give them the freedom to take that step back if they need it. Uh, it helps me have direction that I can point them in and places that I can send them and ways that I can show them that they can incorporate this work and still be meeting those curricular goals that they need to meet. A significant strategy that I've learned through this process is really the idea of a democratic classroom. The very first thing that I adopted um, after last summer's trainings was um, the classroom circle meetings. And so we do those every week in my classroom and um, it's had a very positive effect on um, classroom management and um, student relationships. Teaching students how to come together as a, as a collective and develop empathy and listening skills and conflict resolution skills and really take on the ownership. Once this ownership is in place, this sense of social justice then becomes theirs to foster and perpetuate in the classroom culture. I've learned how to navigate into the, a dominant culture and so what I, I want to be able to take what I know and put it in a system where I can get my kids, my fourth grades, to, to know how to do it. We are so divided and we are never going to be together if we can't at least sit in a room and have a discussion over the things that divide us. We all have a context, we all have a story and it's important to be aware of that and to remember everyone's story is equally important. I have the privilege of working with adult learners and so a lot of times when you start building relationships with people um, within the institution, you know, they see a friendly face, they come and talk and share things with you that they may not share with their instructor. Um, you realize, wow, I identify with what they're dealing with because I dealt with that in my own way in my um, K through 12 years, higher ed years. When I first um, went to the training. Uh, I didn't know what to expect. I didn't really know what it was all about. Um, 
And I didn't know what was going to happen afterwards. And I think that was my biggest concern is like, okay, well, what am I going to do with this? You know, because it's a hard conversation to have. And it's, it's a tough idea to present, um, especially to central offices and, and districts. And so it's just been a blessing for me to have this space and time to share ideas that aren't very common. I think it's great that teachers are teaching teachers because we all walk the same walk. And it's a certain layer of equality and equal footing where we can be truthful with each other about the stresses and about the challenges. And uh, we can share from each other. We're more willing to learn from each other. There's not the pressure um, to say the right thing because it's an administrator or somebody um, from academia who hasn't walked the same walk that we have. I'm just grateful for this opportunity and it's good to know that our unions are identifying these issues and that they're willing to join arms with the members to actually make a change. The tough discussions need to happen within ourselves to have that, um, that self-reflective process where we think about our own cultural encapsulation and then bring that into the classroom and the WEA is the safest place to have that because then it's organic, it's generated from within our own body, and it's not top-down direction. We ask why WEA, why not WEA? I mean, we are the experts, it should be coming from us. Even though we're talking a lot about student resiliency, in my head, I keep flipping it back to, how can I make this about the adults? How can I make it about them realizing that the kids are coming to us with amazing things, amazing gifts, amazing strengths, but when they are with me, what are the changes that I'm going to make? What are the changes that I'm going to help my mentees make so that they then can let the students be students?